okay so how to uh, create the skew jobs so to write the skew jobs we have a job command is available just write skew space job to create a skew job right so skew place job then write the job name right so which job you are going to create write the job name so now suppose i am going to create the job uh, which i want to list the files so generally why we create the job because uh, just i want to run uh, some job every day suppose my job role is to import the data from the production database to the hadoop cluster every day so what i am doing every time some specific amount of time i am going to import the data to the sgfs from the mysql so this is i am going to do so then why should i write this cube import every day instead of the thing so write a job and schedule it something so that when you you just write a job for that import and schedule it to run on the specific interval so by default the job is going to be executed on the schedule time it will import the data into the specific location right so that purpose we create the skew jobs okay so to create the jobs just you have to write the skew space job then write the job name so suppose i am going to write the new list so what i want to do is i want to list all the tables every day i just want to see what are the tables are there right so um, my skew command is list tables okay so the second let me start my skill here okay so my skill i can use space root i can p then the password is cloud era use test okay so now i am taking under terminal fat sdfs okay so here if you write cube space help so we'll get the cube commands right see what we have cube list tables so now cube list tables will do what it will list the tables in a database so whenever you write cube space list iphone tables then just you have write the connect connection string jdbc colon mysql colon slash slash localhost and the database name is test press enter what it will do now it will list the tables in a database test correct now i just want to run this as a job okay i want to run this list tables as a job so what we are doing now just write the skew job then create the job name right so the job name is list so what this job has to do this job has to run the uh, command list tables so the skew command i am writing here as list tables so okay after that write the connection string connect jdbc colon my sql colon slash slash localhost and then write the database name okay so now what happens a job is going to be created right so to list the jobs we have a command skew job iphone iphone create is to create a command create a job then if you write skew space job iphone iphone list will display the jobs available right already how many jobs are created the job names are going to be listed so if you write the command skew space job iphone iphone exec then the job is going to be executed if you want to delete the job then write skew space job iphone delete right the delete command will delete the job okay so these are the commands now what we did here we have created a job so we use the command skew job create so the same thing now i wrote skew space job and job name right this job is going to be created what this job will do uh, this job will run the skew command list tables right so that is whenever you run this job whenever you execute the job this job will list the tables from the mysql database test which is available in a log host see let me show you this here in the terminal uh, i am going to clear the screen okay so to create a job this you have to write skew job then what you have to specify create 
and then write the job name right i am writing the new job name as new lst right so this job has to list the table so what is the command here right list tables list hyphen tables right then write the connection string connect jd bc colon my sql colon slash slash is there in localhost and the database name is test right now i'm not going to run the list table i'm going to create a job right new ls press enter okay right so job is created now you can see the job with the command what is the command skip space job hyphen hyphen list is a command okay press enter okay so now we have created the new list enable to see right now to run the job we have to execute it so to execute the job just write skip space job hyphen exec okay what is the job name new lst now it will list the tables okay so these are the tables which we are having right so this is how to create a job and how to execute a job right let me run this again let me show you one more example how to create the job okay so what i want to do is i want to import the data right so generally whenever you are going to import the data we are writing skip space import okay then we are writing some connection string connect jdbc colon my sql colon slash slash local host and the database name is a test and then we are writing the table name write some table name what the table name we are having some e use test show tables okay some sqp xp1 correct so table name is sqp exp1 right number of papers 1 right this is a skip import so when you run this command so it will import the rows from the sqp x1 table to the scfs but my 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 job role is to run this command every day so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create this as a job right what are the command we are having so this job uh, this one right importing the data from the uh, sqp xp1 table to the sdfs right so that i want to do as a job okay so just write the command here skip then then just write the job skip space job and create okay so what is the job name uh day import okay the job name i am writing as e day uh, imp is the job name okay so this job has to do it has to import right so then write the skip command to how to import the data from the uh, database to sdfs write the command then press the enter okay now see a job is going to, a job is created uh, the job name is ida imp okay so now you can see this list skip space job hyphen hyphen list okay so we have created a job ida imp right now run this command to so execute the job then write skip space job hyphen exec Okay. Then write the job name E D I M P. Okay.
Right, so retrace by recharge. So now we have successfully created a job. Okay, so now this is uh, about two jobs. Okay, so if you want to schedule these jobs to run in a specific interval, you have to use the another Hadoop component that is UZ. Right, so we use OZ is the component which is used to schedule the Hadoop jobs. Okay, now we have to schedule this job to run an specific interval with the component OZ. Okay, so this is about skip jobs.